the pineapple apple pen. What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a working craft signal in Minecraft. So let's start. For this we need some items. First of all we need redstone dust, then redstone repeater, lever, cobblestone wall, yellow concrete, green concrete, red concrete, black concrete, map and item print. Map and item frames I will show, show you what to use after some time. Then we need orange wool, green wool, blue wool and pink wool. Then we need one more thing which is the most important thing is in this project. This is the soul of the project that is the command block. To get the command block just type the code slash give at P command block yes so I got on the command block now we'll keep it inside the chest now first of all we'll take the necessary items for the first phase of the project that is the cobblestone wall for the wall for the pole of the traffic signal then the wools which I'll be using to identify each pole, poles. Then that's it. Okay, let's start. I'll start with the poles. I'm, I'm making the pole of seven blocks high. You can change it according to your preference, but don't make it too small to be really awkward to see that. Two, three. I'm just keeping three blocks uh, horizontal. Okay. Then do it for other three poles also like this the same height okay it's done now let's make the signal lights for that we'll use the black concrete so let's go and take the black concrete from the chest okay so let's make the light for the traffic light. the lights will be like red yellow and green so it will be three blocks down one two three do it same for the other poles also Okay, it's done now we'll change the last block of each pole with the wools which we took earlier from the chest so green then orange 
then pink and blue this is done to identify each pole now let's take the coordinates of each of the lights in the pole for this now I am removing the first block of each light to find the coordinates just type the code flash tp then one two three you got the coordinates it's five eighty three write down the cone somewhere so that you will not forget it because this is important for our project now in the same way take the coordinates of all the poles Finally I have finished taking the coordinates. So before writing the code, I suggest you people to take a screenshot of the structure of flash signal so that you can refer it while writing the code because it's a little bit difficult to write the code without a structure. You need to think how the signals will move, flash uh, signal lights will move. So you need a reference to so that you it's better to take a screenshot. So let's start the project. Now we are going to the behind the scenes of the project that is the coding. For coding we need these steps like command block, repeater, dust and lever. So let's move to the underground basement to write the code so i am in my underground basement now i made it just to hide all those coding and command box stuff or it will be really messy outside so before starting the coding i want to tell you people that this is a little bit hard concept you need to focus to understand this so let's start the code i'm going to do it in a loop so that this Traffic signal continues to work without any help it die, it will work on itself. So for every loop there should be starting. I am using a situation, a situation when the green pole gets the green light, the time when the green light lights up in the green pole. So when the green light lights up in the green pole, the light before that which is the pink light should go back to red it should go back to red signal so now i'll write the code for that for this first of all we need to keep four blocks command blocks one two and uh, first of all i'll write the code for this after that i'll fix the last one the first code i am going to write is the code to set the green light to black the code to set the green light of the pink pole the pink pole to black it should switch off right for so I am going to write the code to switch off the green light of the pink pole this Now I am going to write the code to switch on the red signal light in the pink pole. So the first uh, block in the row should change to red from black. So I am going to write the code for that.
Now I'm going to write the code for the green pole. Before uh, the green pole lights up to the green signal, when the green signal lights up before that, the, it should come to yellow. So I'm going to write to uh, switch on the yellow light. At the same time when the yellow light lights up the red light in the green port should switch up so I'll write the code for that also all these should execute at once that's why I'm writing all told all together And the first set is completed so we'll uh, keep the redstone dust now we'll write the code to change it to green the now at present the green pole is a yellow signal now we need to change it to green signal before that there should be some delay yeah so uh, the yellow light should be one second should be present at least one second in that So uh, at least it should be present one, uh, one second in uh, the post. It should light up at least one second. So there should be slight this. I'm keeping two redstone uh, repeaters so that there will be a slight delay. And we'll write the code for changing the yellow light to green and switching off the yellow light. First I'll write the code to change the yellow like uh, I'll write the code to switch off the yellow light that is now I'll write the code to change the black or uh, the now I will write the code to switch on the green light in the green pole now the green signal should light up so i'll write the code for that so we have finished that now the green signal should be present at least for some time so in the real life also the vehicles should have some time uh, to move so that that's why we should keep some time delay in the green signal the green signal should stay in the post for uh, some for some time so we'll keep a delay of 10 repeaters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now we'll increase the delay by 3 times for each repeaters and we'll make the circuit we'll, uh, we'll make the pathway for the circuit and we are going to start with the third set the next part of the coding which is the green pole should go back to red and the next one which is the orange pole should uh, light up to green so i'm writing the code for that same like the first one we did with four command blocks we, uh, this same logic is uh, for this also the same we should apply the same logic for this also so it's like say it's the same thing only i'm going to keep four command blocks one two okay first let's finish these two now i'll write the code to change the uh, signal of the orange pole to yellow so the yellow pole sh uh, yellow light should light up in the orange pole i'll write the code for that
now we will write the code for changing the green light of the green pole to black so basically the green light should switch off when the yellow light turns up in the orange so we will switch off the green light in the green pole now we will fix the third one we, in the third command block we will write the code to change the color of the green pole to red we need to fix the red signal for the green pole now as the green signal has gone so i write the code to fix the red signal for the green pole So now we will write the code for the last block. In the last block, we will write the code to turn off the red light in the orange pole as the yellow light turned up. Now we need to switch off the red light in the orange pole. So I am going to write the code for that. So this set is also complete. Now we need to give a connection. Okay, let's now at like the same way we have done earlier. We need to give a delay for the yellow light. There should be a small delay and do the same thing we did earlier. Then I have kept two redstone repeaters now we'll do the next set of the coding for this now the same way we need two command blocks in the two command blocks we are going to write the code for changing the yellow light to to switch off the yellow light and to turn on the green light in the orange port so let, let me first write the code to switch off the yellow light in the orange pole now we will write the code to turn on the green bulb the green light in the orange pole both the both these things to, should execute at the same time both these aspects should execute at the same time then uh, because uh, as soon as the yellow time uh, light switch off the green light should light up so we have done it the rest of the coding also continues the same way now we need to uh, make four command blocks write the code for next change the change when uh, the uh, green goes back to uh, red and the uh, next pole the red changes to green we, we are writing the same code again for another pole
there was a problem of uh, space uh, the space was insufficient so I added more space now let's increase the delay of the repeaters Now we'll go to the initial position where we started and we will make the make a loop there. So we'll start making the loop. For that we need to use the repeaters. We need to uh, for making a loop. First of all, we need to keep one repeater to this way and one like this. B both the direction we should keep the repeaters such a way that both the directions are opposite. Well, first of all, repeaters direction should be right and the second one should be left. Okay. Now let's. Make, make the circuit ok let's start now we need to remove all these and make a circuit see now the loop will move like this cool. now let's see if it's working or not yes it's absolutely working now we have a problem see all the sides are visible so it's really hard to understand which side got the signal so in order to fix this I have an idea for that we will go to the chess box yes that's the map and the item frame now we will fix the item frame in such a way that only this side of the post can see the light Now we will take the map, then we will fix the map like this in the item frame. See we have done that. Now we will just keep one black carpet on top of the map. Yes. Now the last problem we have is that the output, the command output is a problem. It's really annoying to see the command output. So for that we will use one command. See the command output is disappearing. So we have reached to an end, if you like my video, please do subscribe my channel and press the bell button for future updates.